plasma weapons, man, they have been with us since the release of Halo CE, and throughout the years they have undergone many balancing changes as well as design changes, but being plasma based is something that remained at their core. As most of you know, these weapons are efficient at stripping shields, but are relatively weak against killing an enemy. Unless of course you're using something like a carbine, beam rifle, or something heavier. But besides that, plasma based guns can be classified as energy weapons. They do not fire a traditional kinetic projectile, much like the bullets of UNSC weapons. Instead, they fire bolts or beams of plasma energy, ionized superheated particles, generated by internal batteries, and the same concept will be guaranteed in Halo Infinite. The more you fire, the more overheating you will experience and the faster you deplete your internal batteries. Now what I want to focus on is these two traits, overheating and battery depletion. So what if in Halo Infinite we added an ability for plasma weapons to temporarily not overheat, and also recharge their batteries? Now I'm not saying let's get rid of overheating and add recharging to the plasma rifle or beam rifle, that would be OP. What I'm saying is let's use the Halo sandbox to give them that ability, at a specific time and place. So throughout Halo games, if you had a UNSC weapon, you can find packs or crates of ammo, allowing you to replenish your gun and continue using it. You have a sniper rifle, run out of ammo, no problem, you can find ammo lying around. Now for plasma weapons, it's never been like this. Once you deplete the battery of your gun, you have to get rid of it. It goes down to 0% and now it's completely useless. Now you could say, oh well just find another weapon and toss it, but bruh, what if I'd like to use this plasma weapon already in my hand? It's not like a beam rifle is ubiquitous everywhere on the map, what am I supposed to do? So what if instead we added an ammo crate equivalent to plasma weapons, where if you go near it, these weapons recharge their batteries. Essentially this object will function as an energy or power node, allowing plasma weapons to recharge their batteries back to 100%. And guess what? Such an object already exists in Halo. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the plasma battery. All that needs to be done is giving this thing the ability to recharge plasma weapons. Stand next to it within like 1 or 2 meters away for balancing purposes and your weapon starts recharging like a Tesla at a charging station. The charge rate can be modified to whatever seems gameplay appropriate, but I'd say 10% per second would be fine. So for example, if you stand next to the plasma battery for 10 seconds and your weapon was at 0%, it is now back to 100% energy. And also while you are next to the plasma battery, your plasma weapon temporarily doesn't overheat if you fire it. So basically you can fire continuously as long as you remain within that 1 to 2 meters away. Now I understand some might say well that might be a bit OP, but keep in mind, you're risking your life standing in one place, not moving around, and charging batteries on your plasma weapons, also next to a big ass explosive object. You're pretty much dead if someone shoots it. So in the end, it kind of balances itself. Now what weapons can and cannot be recharged, that would be entirely up to 343. I think something like a plasma rifle, plasma pistol, energy sword, maybe even a beam rifle, and whatever. They should be rechargeable with specific charge times. But you know, something like a plasma launcher or a plasma caster, eh, I don't know about that. Anyway, these are just a few ideas as I'm thinking about Halo Infinite. Not gonna lie, I've never liked the fact that in previous Halo games, once some plasma weapons got to 0% energy, they were literally useless. So maybe 343 will address that in some way in Halo Infinite. Also, what are your thoughts about this and plasma weapons in general? Let me know your ideas on recharging or no recharging below. Alright boys, that's gonna be it for this one. As always, I want to thank you all for watching and until next time.